Liu Wu, Zhao Lusi, Bai Lu, Wang Yibo rise to the top together than face criticism. Recently, looking back at a year in the Chinese film industry, Sina published an article analyzing why many television works were launched but failed to make an impact, instead generating a lot of controversy over acting and content. Most of the low-quality dramas were concentrated in the romance genre, starring currently popular idol actors such as Liu Wu, Bai Lu, Liu Wai Yuning, Zhao Lusi, and Zhu Jingyi. According to Sina, the indulgence and promotion of untrained idol actors are creating problems in acting, competition for positioning, placement on posters, importance in the film, and off-screen controversies. Liu Wu received an exorbitant salary but disappointed in his acting in Amidst the Storm. Zhao Lusi was paid 11 million RMB after the last immortal ended. The male lead of the drama, Wang Yiba received only 6.5 million RMB, a modest amount far less than Zhao Lusi. Amidst the Storm is a modern romance drama anticipated at the beginning of 2024. Contrary to expectations, the script disappointed due to its blandness, and the acting of the main couple was unstable. Recently, the salaries of the main actors were officially announced. It is known that Leo Wu received a salary of 12 million RMB, an extremely impressive figure among the top post-95 generation actors. Meanwhile, Angel Zhao received 8 million RMB and Wang Xingyu received 4.5 million RMB. Amidst the Storm was an elaborately invested drama with all outdoor scenes shot abroad. The first episodes received a lot of advertisements, but the following episodes faded. Besides the slipping script without exciting twists causing audience boredom, the drama was also criticized for promoting the main character's kissing scenes. Especially, Leo Wu's acting was criticized as being as stiff and rigid as Yang Yang in My People, My Homeland, both stiff and strained like a moving piece of wood. Many flirting scenes of the actor also made viewers cringe instead of feeling romantic. Besides Leo Wu, Wang Yibo is also a top post-95 male actor in television dramas. Last year, the actor participated in the hit project DIY Business and received a salary of 8.8 .8 million RMB, a figure far less than Leo Wu. However, audiences think that Wang Yibo's acting is less painful to watch than Leo Wu, even though he received a lower salary. Many male Chinese idols have previously disappointed when acting in romantic scenes in modern dramas. Alarming situation. According to Sina, with the strong development of social media platforms like Douyin, Chinese TikTok, Zhao Hongshu, and Bidlibrily, more and more internet stars are being born from temporary trends. Bai Lu, Li Wai Yuning, Zhao Lusi, Wang Yibo represent internet stars with tens of millions of followers even surpassing many senior actors and actresses in the industry. Meanwhile, Zhu Jingyi, Liu Wu, Wang Yibo, are representatives of idol singers venturing into acting. However, due to lack of professional training and deep acting expertise, their screen performances are still controversial. In 2023, Bai Lu successively launched three dramas, Till the End of the Moon, Way Business, and Ning Like a Dream. However, her formulaic acting, exaggerated expressions, and portrayal of emotions through mouth movements and screaming have been the most discussed by the audience. In fact, she made her protagonists appear like villains in triumph, playing lead roles that resemble antagonists. Therefore, she became a major reason why many viewers gave up on the dramas. Liu Wai Yuning also tarnished his reputation in 2023. Originally a social media star often live-streaming to chat with fans and showcasing his singing talent. After gaining many fans, Li Wai Yuning gradually got to perform in soundtracks and then moved to acting. His only well-received role was a supporting character in The Long Ballad. After that, he was heavily promoted by producers, taking on many lead roles. Recently, Li Wai Yuning played the male lead in Eternal Mountain, cooperating with senior actress Liu Shishi. However, his terrible acting, an attractive appearance, and eye robot like expressions became controversial topics, causing the good reputation he had built to collapse. Another star, labeled as the new queen of bad dramas for poor acting, often dragging down the quality of projects she participates in is Zhao Lusi. Zhao Lusi's dramas rarely score high in quality. The actress is criticized for her immature acting, 
applying one acting style to all characters. Her childish voice and fake naive acting annoy viewers. Ju Jing Yi, Lia Wu, Wang Yibo, Gu Jie Han, Yang Che Oiu, are also idol singers criticized for acting but still supported by producers, often receiving lead roles in high budget projects. According to Sina, the reason these stars are chosen is that they bring immediate benefits. With backgrounds of social media stars or idol singers, they have a massive fan base. Every action and state of the above celebrities create strong effects, discussed by tens of millions of people, thereby contributing to making the project more known. Choosing these artists is the simplest, quickest way to make a film project hot and attract more investment. Long-term consequences. However, due to not receiving thorough and meticulous training but immediately getting main character scripts, most of the above stars have average to poor acting. At the same time, they seem to be portraying themselves on screen, rather than transforming into their characters. Zhao Lucy, originally a hot girl on the internet, is now being heavily promoted by Tencent Video, continuously playing lead roles in many of this online platform's major projects. Zhao Lucy is called Tencent's princess. According to Sina, Zhao Lucy's acting style is cute, natural, and interacts well with co-stars, so her dramas are quite simple, comfortable, and easy to watch. Zhao Lucy specializes in entertainment films, not focusing on acting, character psychology, and even the script is somewhat fantastical, no brain needed. Conversely, when playing strong characters like in the battle at Lake Changjin or a girl with a tough background rising in the medical field like in Autumn Cicada, Zhao Lucy immediately reveals her acting weaknesses. The case of Zhao Lucy is similar to Bai Lu, Gu Jie Han, Zhu Jing Yi, Li Wai Yuning, stars with limited acting, only safe in a certain type of role. Therefore, when portraying different characters, they are often criticized for playing themselves, not understanding the context, the characters in the world, or only performing superficially, crying and laughing mechanically. Poor acting often led them to produce low-quality works. That's also why, despite starring in many dramas, none of the above stars have received nominations for mainstream acting awards. On the other hand, being overly promoted helps these young stars receive countless projects. Every year, Zhao Lucy participates in about three dramas. In 2023, Bai Lu appeared in six different works. Constant filming makes them unable to escape roles, bringing emotions and acting styles from one character to another. Audiences frequently encounter the repetition of acting styles from the above stars. At the same time, the Chinese screen also faces the situation of a group of famous stars often pairing up to act together. Gu Jie Han, Bai Lu, Zhao Lucy, Wang Yibo, Zhang Ling, Nini, cooperate in a circle in many dramas, making the audience bored. Another issue that arises is due to being overly promoted, young stars develop arrogance, competing for achievements and status with each other. In recent years, the competition for positioning, placement on posters, importance in the film, has become a prominent issue, causing many loud arguments across social media. Actors don't care what role they play, what their experience and abilities are, but always compete for the top position. This leads to young stars not wanting to cooperate with seniors, only wanting to act with less famous people to overshadow the positioning. This combination creates a group of weak actors in terms of acting and experience in the same work. On the other hand, competing for positioning also leads to the situation of adding scenes to overshadow colleagues. This behavior spoils the original script, distorting character settings. For example, Li Wai Yuning in Eternal Mountain was accused of adding scenes, taking good lines from other characters for his role, but making the script more diluted towards the end. Eternal Mountain started with a 7.5 rating but then dropped to only 6.6 .6 points on the review site Dubbin.